Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about the moving average method in the Excel and we want to use the data analysis toolbox in the Excel to calculate the moving averages. You should see the data analysis toolbox which is the add-ins in the Excel in the data tab in the analysis section. So if you cannot see this toolbox, you should go to the file options in the add-ins, press on the go button and then check box these two and then press OK button and then you can see the data analysis tools here. So what is the moving average? The moving average is the simplest method in the time series analysis. So for example, I have some data which are arranged in the time. For example, here we have demand of some product based on year and month. And these demands are sorted based on the times until 2012 month 12. And we want to use moving average to predict each month demand. If I insert a chart here, you can see these uh, demands are going up and down all the time. And I want to see based on the moving average, which of these are outliers. This is the first thing that we, we, we want to use moving average. The second thing is predicting values for the future. For example, I want to know what, he, what will be demand on year 2013 month 1. Based on this prediction, I want to make some marketing plan or I want to have production plan. So the moving average helped me to predict what will be my demand in the future and how I can calculate the moving average. So for example, I want to calculate the demand for the next month. I can use the previous month demand and by saying that, for example, in the previous month, we have 3,960 demand, we will have the same thing in the next month. But it's not so logical to having exactly the same amount. We also can say the next month can be the total average of all previous demands as well. But this is not logical as well because we know that the future demand will be near to the nearest previous demands. For example, previous seven months. So we can get the average from just the seventh month. So the moving average method is just a simple average from the nearest month or nearest data. Here I can use the average function and then define the range previous seventh month. So by this way I can tell in my production line our demand will be this amount and we can for example product based on this we can plan based on this so this is how we can have the moving average it will calculate the average based on some interval that we specify but how i can specify this interval why i use the seventh month why I didn't use just five months? This number is based on the experiences. So for example, I do some experiments. I use moving average for seven, five, ten, some um, numbers. And then I calculate the standard error for each of these moving averages. And then by seeing which of these have the minimum standard error, I will say this can be the best choice, this number. So the Excel Analysis Toolbox here will help us for doing these experiments and calculating the moving average in easy way. So for example, right now if you go to the Data tab and press on the Data Analysis Toolbox and then choosing the moving average here then press OK button. You can say the input range is from the second cells of the column C or you can use the C1 cell as well but you should checkbox these labels in the first row. So let's just select just numbers 
and then by using control shift down keyboard I select all my data all my uh, demand numbers and then I say my interval for example 3 and I say the output range should be D2 so I want to have the chart output and the standard errors so Excel data analysis toolbox will create two columns for me the first one is the predicted one I say for example predicted demand and it uses three interval three month and the second one is the standard error for these three month intervals and also the Excel will showing a chart for us and we can see how well our moving average is fitted to our data so uh, right now uh, as you can see the first two cells in the predicted demand is an A because the average which here the Excel toolbox insert the function for us calculate the average of just three months just three nearest month so Excel says that the future demand should be this amount based on these three months and also the standard error will create uh, will defining that the each of uh, yeah. and the standard error will create the standard deviation of last three numbers because we use the three interval and for example here I can see it's the summation of the minus of each these two souls powered by two and then divided by three and then calculate the square root for us so it's a de standard deviation of these six numbers and it's calculated based on, on minusing these two and then powered by two plus minusing these two and then powered by two plus minusing these two and then powered by two and then divided by three the summation will be divided by three and then calculating the square roots so this is the standard deviation and also we can see uh, the total the standard deviation for example by calculating the summation of this column and if I want to compare the interval 3 with the interval 7 I can use the data analysis toolbox again and then choose the 7 uh, instead of the 3 and I can change the output range to the column F so if I press OK button it will calculate another average moving average for me and if I and make it a little bigger I can see the moving average in this way is smoother so uh, it not be changed a lot based on these variations so I can see this one it can be the outlier and also this one I can go to the marketing unit and say what happened in this month and what happened in this month why our demand go up so quickly and as well as these months and so if I find out why this happened I can do more of those things to make increase in my demand so this is a useful thing in the moving average but using this moving average can predict the future in the better way as I can see the chart the moving average change it quickly based on the previous month also for example if I come here I can calculate the standard error for my moving average here and I can see the standard error for moving average in the interval 7 is more than in uh, moving average with interval 3 so this is interval 3 and this is interval 7 I can see this one is bigger than this one so this is how the moving average analysis works in the, in the Excel by using data analysis toolbox. Thanks for watching. Until next, goodbye.
In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Diaco OTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website, diaco.co.uk.